So now let's jump over to messenger parties. So now I have been doing messenger parties since I, I want to say the fall of last year. I can't really remember, but I have really switched to this is uh, I the only thing I'm offering now online. Um, so home party or messenger party, right? Those are the options from Tabitha. You, I also want you to know that there is no wrong way. There is no right way to do parties. You do what's working for you. I needed to pivot into messenger parties because my Facebook event, Facebook group parties were no longer hitting that $500 party average. Um, so I needed to see, find something else that would work. I was fighting the algorithm to get people to see the content that I was posting. If your parties are already at that $500 and above mark, keep doing what you're doing. Don't change what you're doing. Don't fix what's not broken, okay? But I have noticed that my messenger party is way higher at party average, right? I am able to hit that $500 level super easy um, all the way up into the thousands um, in a 24 hour period. It's super fast, it's super easy. There's not a lot for your host to have to worry about to do. Um, and there's not a lot from you either because it's wrapped up nice and quickly. So let's go ahead and um, show you my outline for a messenger party uh, so that you can start to create your own if you are interested. So the first thing to do is you're going to coach your host, right? You're going to have her post on her Facebook wall that she's having a 30 minute Tupperware party. And they are gonna comment if they want to join her um, in the party. You're gonna give her an image to post and you're gonna give her the words to say. We always want to keep it super easy for the host um, that she's just copying and pasting, okay? Next, after that, you're going to have her send personal messages. Just This is just like, any online party, right? It doesn't matter how you party, you're going to coach your host the same way. You're going to give her copy and paste wording, giving her the images, giving her the words to say to invite people to this chat, okay? Next, the last thing the host needs to do is set up the group chat with everyone who wants to join in the fun. Because she's friends with the people who want to join, she's the one who needs to set up the chat, all right? Once she sets up the chat and adds the people to the group, you take over from there. You're going to change the group name to, I like to put the host name slash Tupperware party. So if it was Debbie's Tupperware party, um, I like to do that because I will have more than one in a night and I want to be able to easily see whose party it is that I'm looking for so I don't get confused. Um, and then I always change the photo uh, to the group chat, either to a Tupperware photo or to the bowl emoji. You can do either one in here. Super easy to do from your phone. In fact, I do all of the messenger party from my phone. Uh, I find it to be really easy to do from my living room if I want to. All right. So the very first post after the host has set everything up and you've changed the name is you're going to tell them, thank you for joining the party. You're going to tell them when the party is and the correct time zone because you could be central and your host could be eastern, but her friends are in Pacific, right? It, just make sure you're putting in a time zone. It's super critical that you are doing that. Um, then you're going to give her the uh, catalog link so that she can flip through the catalog, the digital catalog. And also give the shop early link so that if they want to start buying, they can. You're going to explain that uh, they're, you're going to do a drawing for a lucky person to win a prize for participating. Same as any other Tupperware party. We know there's always a winner somewhere, right? So this is what um, it, you're doing the ground rules for it for this party. And then they're going to get a bonus ticket um, if they send you a private message to answer a question. This could be anything. Um, you could ask them, you know, send me your favorite color or tell me what you're having for dinner tonight or what's your favorite food or whatever. Um, the reason you want them to do, send you a private message is so that you are able to follow up with them 
after the party and start to create that relationship even more. Um, ask them if they want to host a party, ask them if they um, were still interested in ordering any of that. If they send you the message, we know how to check our other folder in messages and most of our hosts or guests might not get a message from us if we send it to them because we're not friends, but this way we're connected immediately. All right, so then we're going to do a pre-party game one hour before the party begins. We're going to do a guessing game. Um, we're going to do a guessing game and give the product information, whatever it is, product that has the jelly beans or whatever you have in there. Um, and they're going to get five bonus tickets for taking a guess uh, or whoever has the closest guess. So this is one hour before the party. I find free guessing games in the Tupperware Consultants Party Group, and I then create my own images, but you can use their images. They're already done for you. It tells you exactly how many are in there. Um, but the key to this is explaining the product and having fun, right? We're just kind of going in there easy and slow with a fun guessing game. 30 minutes before the party, then you're going to give the digital catalog link again, tell them to browse it, tell us what their top favorite products are, um, and then they can have a bonus ticket in the drawing if they tell you what that is. And 10 minutes before the party, we're gonna do another pre-party game. Um, and this can be multiple different questions, whatever it is, right? Um, it could be, what is the biggest struggle in your kitchen? When you hear Tupperware, uh, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Uh, if you have 30 minutes, you have 30 minutes until dinner, what are you having? It could be anything that you want to come up with, just a little icebreaker. Then when it's party time, you're going to let them know they get bonus tickets for being interactive. Every question that they answer, um, you'll have one product that you're going to talk about. You're going to describe the product in a fun, light, easy way to read. Um, show an image of that product. The Tupperware always has beautiful images that we can use. You don't have to recreate the meal, uh, the wheel, and one video that you can use on uh, that is one to two minutes long. This is a fast paced party um, and these posts are quick uh, three minutes apart from one another. So you don't want your video longer than one to two minutes. Remember what I said about repurposing your TikTok content? This is the perfect way to reuse it. Um, but if you don't have that yet and you're, you're wanting to start with these messenger parties, go on to YouTube, Tupperware um, around the world has great videos that you can use on YouTube uh, that are one to two minutes long. And then always ask a question for them uh, to get a bonus point from. That way you know that you're keeping them engaged and that they're still having fun inside the party. All right, so three minutes later, remember this is quick, fast paced. The 30 minutes is where I found to be um, the, the sweet spot. That's how long I can keep their attention. But there are many people who do it for an hour. They do it for 45 minutes. You can do it your way. There is no right or wrong way. This is just what works for me. So this is three minutes later. Product number two is coming up. I'm describing the product. I have one image to go with the product. I have a one to two minute video that goes with it. And then um, again, they can ask, I'm going to ask them a question for bonus points. It could be as simple as what's your favorite leftovers, right? What's anything, whatever that goes with that product that you want. Three minutes after that, we're going to have the next product. We're going to describe it, have an image, one to two minute video, and then ask another bonus question. Now I break and we have a little scavenger hunt. Um, and it could be anything that you want it to be. I love to give the digital catalog to have them go on a scavenger hunt within the catalog where they can find you know, something red, something green, something blue, purple, whatever it is, that, something that they can cook with, something that can go in the microwave, some, you know, whatever. Use your imagination. Um, you can also use this as a great recruiting plug. Um, you know, what would you do with a $1,000? Um, anything. You, or which host gift would you choose in the catalog? Whatever. Whatever question that you want. I do three photo scavenger hunts, um, and they're three minutes apart. Three minutes after that, I'm back to the products. 
Product number four, I describe the product, again, an image and a video, and then ask another question to keep them involved in the party. And then my last one. So I have five products that I'm showing in this 30 minute messenger party. So decide what it is that you wanna focus on in this theme. I always suggest that you have a higher value item and lower value items in there. Um, you don't want all of your items to be 100 plus because if they're a guest at this party, they still don't know you yet. And there is some research out there that um, first time buyers will buy between 40 and $50 until you start to create that relationship. So keep that in mind um, that you are, are having some items under that $50 mark uh, while you are deciding which products to showcase. All right. So after that, I like to do a dating game. This is something that I just started doing within the last uh, six, six weeks, eight weeks, something like that. I started to add that dice game back in. Um, the dice game is something that we do at home parties and, um, the dot life, you dot this Amanda Todd came out with this virtual edition dice game quite a few years ago. It worked really well in Facebook parties and it works really, really, really well in messenger parties because it helps you date parties. I mean, if you've played the dice game or the smidget game in your home parties, you know how well it works. Uh, so why not do it virtually? Um, it is available for purchase from the dot life or you dot this. Um, but before you purchase it, you know, ask your business leader, ask some di sister directors because they probably already have it in their vault somewhere because this did come out quite a few years ago already. Um, but it does work like a charm inside a messenger party. So give it a shot. If you don't want to do the dating game, do some kind of game though, right? If you don't do the dice game, sorry, I misspoke. If you don't do the dice game, do something for them to date a party, okay? And this is, I think, the key to why my parties have been hitting $500 within 15 minutes of the party closing is because I started adding in double your points if you order by midnight tonight. Um, and yeah, all of my hosts are making their goals before midnight that night. And then you have more um, orders still coming in the next uh, day or so, but it, it's pretty cool. So don't skip the step. That's something that I learned. Um, double your points by ordering by midnight tonight. People love points and they don't cost you a thing, right? In the drawing. All right, then that's a wrap. That's the 30 minute mark. Uh, you're gonna tell them that there's three ways to shop, that they can join, that they can host, or that they can shop um, and give them the shopping link. And then you wanna break it down with, you know, hey, you can join me if you want more details, right? Say this keyword, whatever word that you want to, to say. Or if you want more information on hosting party, say party, things like that. And then give the shopping link for them. Um, the next morning, you're going to post again in there and you're going to say that uh, when the ordering closes, the time and the date, you're going to give the links again, and you're going to tell the winner of the party prize. And you're going to add up the points from people who are participating in the party night before the night before, the people who ordered, the people who booked a party, whatever. However, you gave points out, you're going to add it up, pick a party prize winner, and then tell them to message you their address so that they can uh, get their party prize from you. And I usually close up. So if I have a party on Monday, Tuesday morning is when I'm posting this, that I'm that when it's closing and I'm gonna close it on Wednesday, okay? So I don't keep it open longer than two days after the party. And then after um, the party's wrapped up and I've already, you know, recruited my host and she's ready to join me, whatever your steps are that you're doing when you're host coaching. Um, now you want to stay connected. And this is again, where you are funneling. So with the lifetime warranty, let's stay connected and you're going to funnel them to where you want them to go, to follow you, where you can have that connection. Um, you can 
send them back to TikTok with your TikTok link. You can send them to your VIP group. You can send them to Instagram. You can do all of the things so that they are staying connected to you. Um, and that way you will continue to have customers and host for a long time. So some tips that I'm going to give you to make your life really easy. The first one is the boards app. If you are not using the boards app yet, I uh, highly recommend that you check it out. There is, it is um, free and a paid subscription. So if you want the ability to use um, it in your keyboard on your phone, that is a paid for subscription. But if you just want to go to the boards app and copy and paste either from your desktop or from your phone, you can do that for free. But I house all of my word choices, all of my images, all my videos in the boards app. Um, and then we also use one in accolades for our company to be able to have word choices to say, to grab images from the boards app and so on. So it is a really great tool, whether you're doing messenger parties or because you're a leader and you want to share content with your team. Um, I, I highly recommend that you check it out because the easier that we make it for a consultants to be able to party when they first start, right, to be able to like, hey, I've got a whole party done for you. You can just go to the boards app and copy and paste everything um, the, the quicker that they'll get off to a good start. The second tip that I have for you about messenger parties is to have three party themes because you're going to book parties from those parties and you want to be able to tweak them just a little bit. Um, and by tweaking, I mean those five products that I showed in party one, I'm going to choose five new products, a different theme of products for party two and a different theme of products for party three. So that as you're booking parties, everybody can see a little bit something different. Um, I also change up what the guessing game is when I change the party themes uh, so that it keeps it fresh, right? But everything else, you know, can really, the, the middle parts of it can really stay the same. So I recommend having three party themes. I also like to have, you know, like a mystery host theme. And then I also like to have a new consultant theme. So we have a grand opening party theme that is separate from these messenger parties. Um, and it really focuses on word choices and helping that new consultant. Uh, for instance, instead of doing the dice game in my new consultants game, I'm going to talk about, you know, the five ways you can help this new consultant out is, and we used to do these at home parties all the time, right? Where the first way that you can help is that you can place an order with her. You can have a practice party with her. You can have the real deal party with her. You can um, let everybody, you know, give her a referral, let everybody know that she uh, is a Tupperware consultant now. And if she needs help, um, or you can uh, join her in the business. Those are the five ways that I learned that we we used to do. And I always love to incorporate everything we did at home parties into um, our digital world. But so three party themes for yourself, then a new consultant uh, when you're doing grand opening parties, and then a mystery host one. Uh, the third tip that I have for you is to use your private messages. This is uh, really helpful in uh, making these parties a success because after the party that next day you can take a few minutes and message the guests from the party and just see if they had any questions did they need any help with ordering did they you know is their wish list too big do they need to book a party do they have whatever it is you're creating that relationship with them by using those private messages you're letting them know I just want to make sure you know we're closing the party tomorrow. Um, whatever it is, uh, use those private messages after the party. Um, it really will make a huge difference in your results of the party. And the fourth tip that I have is having your host really follow up also. So let's say you are doing the private messages um, to everybody, all everybody who was at the party. You are, uh, and maybe somebody didn't see it, right? Or they you know, they never messaged you at the front of the party where it said to, you know, message me what your favorite color is. And so now they didn't receive it because they don't know how to check your other 
um, folder. So you have your host and tell her, okay, I sent a message to X, Y, and Z. This person hasn't seen it yet. Would you like to remind them that we're closing up your party? And again, give her the word choices to say. Always make everybody's job easier by having all of it done in copy and paste format, um, whether it be for your host or for your consultants on your team. 